Welcome to the Squareline Studio tutorial, where I will demonstrate the management of global colors and themes. In this video, you will learn when and how to use these features and how to switch themes on your created user interface based on an event. Let's get started. The global color and theme options can be found in the Themes tab, which consists of three groups. The first group is Select Theme, where you can choose which theme to activate in your project from the drop-down list. In the second group, you can create custom colors. Enter the color name, then click the Add Color button. In the Name field, you can later change the color name. In the Alpha, you can set the color's transparency, and by clicking on the square next to it, you can choose the color you want in the pop-up window. In the third group, you can create new themes. To create a theme, Enter the name, let's call it light, then click the Add Theme button. You can only modify the colors created in the default for the new theme you cannot create new colors. Select the checkbox before the color you want to change, then modify the color. For example, to a lighter shade. Now I'll show you how to add global colors to a style. In the Screens Inspector panel, enable background color in the style settings under the main part section. Then you can choose the created colors from the theme color drop-down menu. If you want to switch between themes, go to the screen and then to the themes panel. In the selected theme section, you can choose another from the drop-down menu, which will be immediately reflected on the screen. Next, I'll demonstrate how to change the screen's theme with a button press. First, place two buttons in the center using flex layout. Add two buttons, click on the screen, then within the Inspector tab, select Flex from the Flex Flow drop-down. Click on Main Direction Align, set it to Space Evenly, then click on Track and set it to Center. Now, select one of the buttons. Scroll down in the Inspector tab to the Event block. Click the Add Event button, choose Switch Theme from the Action drop-down at the bottom, and click Add. You can select which saved theme to bring up with a click. Choose the default theme. Now click on the other button and set the same even parameters as before, but this time choose the light theme from the action drop-down. Scroll down, add event, switch theme, add, then action, and set it to light this time. Now, if you click the play mode button and then click on the left button, it will set the screen to the default theme color. If you click on the right button, it will set the screen to the light theme. For more information on exported codes and global theme options, refer to the documentation. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to get notified about the new ones.